BX is an autonomous marine robotics company. We use autonomous underwater vehicles to make underwater inspections more efficient and safer. Bumblebee was an undergrad research team that participate in competitions held in the United States. So we did their research for the past 7 to 8 years. I then went to work for the industry and we realised that there's a gap in the market with regards to shallow water vehicles because most vehicles are designed for deep water applications. We received a lot of requests from the industry to use our vehicles to help them do their underwater inspections. In 2018, after receiving a major contract from an overseas customer, we decided to spin off, license the technology from the university and start the company. Traditionally, underwater inspections is carried out by divers or robots that are controlled by the men on board. But both of these kind of technologies require support of a working boat which is quite expensive to deploy. In order to overcome the challenges using this kind of methods, we actually put intelligence inside the vehicle itself. We specialize in low visibility waters, high current environments, uh, complex situations that require us to provide smarter mission plans. Our underwater vehicles are designed to be a portable, compact system that service providers can deploy easily. So we design it with a very small footprint to have a very powerful computer so that they can literally just drop it into water without having to understand all the intricacies of like underwater positioning, sonar, all the complex stuff. To do a commercial role well for an engineering company, you need to have a strong understanding of the technical elements involved in the deployment. So I need to understand what's the constraints and the challenges uh, that my engineering team will face. I also need to understand what's the operational constraints of my customers when deploying our vehicles. Specifically for underwater systems, we deal a lot with fluid mechanics, structures of machines, fluid dynamics. There's also quite a bit on the simulation side, so understanding how it works in software before we physically fabricate it out. I think it's important to see what we learn being built into a physical thing. The good thing about Mac engineering is that it provides a structured way for us to learn things. This framework and structure is very important. Even right now when I make decisions about something, I will apply that same kind of framework in terms of how we arrive at the decision. It's also um, applicable to how we plan out a project, you know, what are the different things that we need to think about. Mac Eng is a very broad specialization. You get to explore different elements from materials to dynamics of objects to manufacturing as well. Everything that a physical product is made of, you will be exposed to it.